Hi guys, good morning. Welcome to another vlog. Today is a vlog strictly dedicated to decorating my apartment. I am so excited because you guys know that I've just been needing to add some things to my space, decorate a little bit. I picked up some things from Amazon to decorate my apartment. And I also have, I think three pieces of art that I still need to hang. And I have a new idea for the art that I wanna do in my office. But first let's do a quick little Amazon home decor haul. And then I will have links to everything in the description box below in case you like anything. Look at me not wearing loungewear and not wearing sweats. I am wearing jeans though, but they're different. Let's do a little Amazon home decor haul. Picked up a few things and they all came in. Obviously I'm gonna decorate with books. So I picked up this fat juicy one. This is surf photography of the 1960s and 1970s by Leroy Granis, but it is Toshin. I always love Toshin's books. They have such great display books. I have one on Modigliani and I think Picasso. I used to think growing up my entire life that my type was surf I don't surf, but I love surfing as a sport. I just love the aesthetic of surfing, but I don't think I'm gonna marry a surfer because I thought I loved a little surfer skate rat. I don't. My type is big, burly, muscly, tattoos, dark hair, facial hair, so much bigger than me that I could die. But that's okay because I can still decorate my apartment with surf stuff and I can still admire it but not marry it. But there goes my hopes of having little salty blonde children. Probably gonna have some brunettes, but that's, that is okay. Anyway, this book is gorgeous and it just looks great. Next, I got anal beads. I see bitches decorate with these beads all the time. And I thought they were a joke. I thought it was funny because like, you know, but they kind of look good. Let's put them on something and just see what happens, you know? I am ready though for when people walk into my apartment for them to say something about it. It's gonna be a conversation piece. A weird conversation, but a conversation piece. Next, I got boring pillows, but nor. These are just pillow inserts. Something that I learned the hard way is that it is super common for places to sell pillow covers, but not the pillows inside of them. I got some pillow inserts. These are 18 by 18, I don't know. But look at these bad boys. These fluffy little white creamy pillowcases. I can't wait. I think I'm gonna put these on my bed because my bed is just, she's boring. She doesn't do anything. I have one little throw blanket and I call it a day. Next up, we have this sculpture vase thing. Great for decor, but also if I wanna romanticize my life, put some water in it, pour it in a glass in the morning. I don't know, it just seems. Then I got a rug, which you can't really see, but I got a long runner rug for my kitchen because I put up a photograph in my kitchen and then I kind of organized the counters a little bit. So I thought, let's keep this train going and let's make the kitchen cuter. A little runner rug for, is that what it's called? Am I making that up? A runner, a runner rug. Why does that feel wrong? A rug for the kitchen, yes. The next few things are kind of big, so I can't really hold it up for you, but I can hold this up. I got this planter because I did get a fake olive tree because I'm not gonna have real plants. I, they die. You have to look at this. Hi, Sybil. I love how she responds by moving her tail. Hi. Hey girl. Oh, premature. Hey girly. I wanna put more plants in the apartment, just not real ones. And I've seen bitches put up olive trees, which is my favorite tree. So I thought, yeah, we're gonna do that. The last thing that I got is a frosted glass whiteboard. Put it in the wall, you screw it in the wall. You do something to the wall. I just wanted a whiteboard. I don't know where exactly we're gonna put it because above the bench in my office, I want to do a mood board of art. I saw Josie on Instagram post that she got a bunch of prints from Desenio, no frames. And then she just used that neutral painter's tape and she just put up a mood board of prints on her wall. Love that idea because it's collage-like. And I don't know if you know this, but frames, so much more expensive than the actual prints. That's what gets you is when you frame the art. So a way to get a bunch of art for the wall without paying a million dollars is just to do it in a collage mood board way. So I want to do that above the bench and then I don't know where the whiteboard is going to go though. I do have three pieces of art sitting in my bedroom that I was going to hang above that bench where I'm going to do the collage. I don't know where I'm going to hang up those pieces, but we'll figure it out today. That is the little Amazon home decor haul. I will have links to everything in the description box below if you want to pick up anything that you see here. My Amazon storefront is always linked down below and I have a page on there of in my home. So all the decor that's actually in my home. And then I have another list that is just home decor that I'm eyeing that I want to put in my house that I think is really cute. Let's figure out where we're going to put all this stuff.
Now a quick word from today's sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace is the platform I use to create my website and it's an all-in-one platform to build your brand through an online presence. And here I'm just showing you how easy it is to customize and add sections to your website. What makes Squarespace so easy to use is that you can choose from all of these templates. So if you don't really know where to start but you wanna make a contact page, a newsletter, you want to list products for your store, they have all of these templates that you can choose from and then you can build upon them and customize them to your liking. It's very easy it's great for beginners or people that just want to make their lives a little bit easier it's easy to create a one-stop shop website where you can create a blog a store and you can really showcase all sides to your business through one website head to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch go to squarespace.com slash sienna marabella to save 10 percent off your first purchase of a website or domain i'm gonna put the pillows in my bed if they look ugly we'll figure it out oh i want to sleep on these this is reminding me of trying to get the cushions on my couch. I don't like it. Look how cute it is! The cutest. I can't tell if I like them. No, that's weird. That's, that's weird. It's like I'm tucking them in to go to bed. So, okay, that looks wrong. Maybe it's because I've just never had pillows on there. We're gonna leave it there for now. See what's up. See what happens. I so badly need to get that cord put inside and the Xbox is ugly. That look right feels wrong. Maybe this isn't the way. I don't know. Okay, I also forgot that in my office I had these that I painted a while ago and then these candles and my little David. So they are gonna be a player in something. I don't know what yet. And I'm watching Blacklist as I do this. David, you're not, no. No, David. You, David. Potentially, this could be the move. Hold on, hold on. This is the whole point. I want to branch into this, but it feels wrong. This just matches, but I prefer this. I like a little bit of eclectic. I don't want it to all match. I hate it. <laughs> I don't know if it's the curse of this console, but I just can't decorate. You know what? No, I just can't decorate. I throw things together, hope it looks good, and I like a color palette. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could love you. You're being so dramatic right now. Who died? All right, girl, chill. Anyway, I'm gonna link my Pinterest board down below for you guys and help me if you know how to design. Send me videos on how to design. I don't know how things do things. I just like what I like and hope for the best, you know? But I'm gonna leave it like that and then I'll put the book somewhere else, the, the surf one. talking about about how much I can with this room. I actually go through this room so often and tidy it up and then somehow it ends up like this every time, every time. And then of course, when I try to find pants, that happens because I need to properly hang my pants. If you watch my decluttering vlog, I did the hooks in my other closet for my jeans and now I need to do my pants. This is the room that I have not decluttered yet because I knew this was gonna take me forever. Before we do hanging up art and the whiteboard, I really need to like do a little something in here so I can get things off the floor. I'm just gonna do a partial amount of decluttering and just moving things around and clearing it up. Maybe, okay, hello. And this lamp still has to go to my mom's. I always forget to bring it to her and I've seen her so many times, but I always forget to bring this to her, but I need to. Okay, I am going to just clear this out and then vacuum and then I'll show you guys the pieces of art that I wanna hang in here. This is the wall that I wanted to do the mood board of those pieces of art without the frames. And then I do have three pieces of art and I'm thinking maybe we put it above here or I just do it somewhere else in my apartment. I don't know, but let's first clear this out so I can see what I need to do. As messy as this looks, this is so much cleaner. I just don't have room for these things. I put the rest of those bags, I put the rest of the giveaway bags or the Depop bags underneath the jackets. So they're hidden in there, but I had no room for anything else. There's a couple over there. And then I put the shoes up there. In here, I could definitely 
put another bin right there, but I don't because that's Sybil's little resting hiding place. She loves sitting on there and I don't wanna take that away from her because that's the only place that she has to herself that Atticus doesn't go. That is a bin of stuff that I want to give away, makeup and beauty stuff. So for the beauty box giveaway, if you saw my decluttering video, and I have a giant bin over there full of beauty products as well to give away. But that's kind of like the closet, so I fit some stuff. I always leave this a little open so she can go in. But that's basically why I have no room for any of the other stuff. I'm gonna put these actually in my hallway closet in my bedroom because I do have room for them. This, I, that's full. That's just gonna sit there until I figure it out. That's still Depop stuff giveaway. I don't have room in my utility closet for the carpet cleaner but it's my mom so I'm gonna bring it back to her house. That's beauty products that I want to try. Selling Depop stuff. Stuff that I got as PR that I want to post on my story so it's just right there. These are the last three art pieces that I have that I didn't hang. So I have this large one and then these two smaller ones. I put my hair up, I can't not put it up. I decided I'm gonna put the art here. I just wanna see if it'll space out. Does that even match? Was I even thinking when I did this? That's gonna bug me because they're not. That's gonna bug me and I don't know how to fix that. I don't need to look this up. Like what, what? We remember when I tried to measure art and hang it like that. No, I'm winging it. These are longer than this bitch. So we're gonna wing it. You can tell he's a conservative. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now let's get you up on the wall. Can I get on my desk? I don't know. Are you good? This looks pretty. The color palette really just popped off because these are going to be taller. Oh my god, my computer! I have the computer here for reference because I just realized that that's going to be there. Which one should be on the bottom? Probably the darker one. Feels heavier. I don't know. Is that science? I don't know. If that's not good, I'm quitting. I'm quitting. It's actually so bad. I'm sick to my stomach right now. Projectile vomiting. Oh! I've never been able to touch that before. Okay, that feels right. Why can't you just be even? Like, I don't understand what the problem is. Just be even. I can't breathe. I know, same. We can't, can't handle this. It's too much pressure. Way too much pressure. Oh my god, it might work out. Oh my god, stop. It might work out. I hate it. Okay. I need to decorate the desk desperately. I'm thinking of getting a little plant for it for one side because you can't have two small things. I don't know, I haven't decorated the desk. That'll be in another decorating video, I promise. But the art, I know it's wonky. Please don't say anything. I feel like these go better above here because then we can do a bigger little gallery wall type vibe over the bench and then put a big fake tree over there. Are you opposed to fake? No? Okay. This kind of looks cute as a little background. I might put a plant there or maybe David. I don't know. We forgot about the whiteboard completely. Where is she going to go? Because I want to use the whiteboard. Do I just hang it next to this? But then that's going to look off. I don't. Where would you hang the, do I just hang the whiteboard over there? I am not going to put up the whiteboard until you guys tell me where to put it because that that is four things that really go into the wall and I'm just not ready for that commitment yet until I know for sure it's supposed to be where it's supposed to be. That's everything for this decorating vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys want me to include this in the vlogs or make separate vlogs for this as I'm decorating my apartment, let me know in the comment section below. But again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.